Hey, my friends, you know, we talked about top water zigzag fishing and how effective it can be, uh, in, especially in the late summer and throughout the fall. By the way, zigzag top water fishing, and, and what we're going to talk about now is zigzag subsurface fishing, can be good all the time. All the time. A lot of anglers just think it's good in the fall, good in the late summer. I've caught big fish doing this pretty much every time I've tried it, all seasons. With that in mind, we're going to talk about subsurface zigzag fishing now using a glide bait like a topwater walk the dog zigzag bait only what we're going to do now is take it under the water and that's basically what i did with the glide raider i designed the glide raider by the way and the walking raider off the exactly the same body it just weighted them different that's it one floats one kind of suspends and you know or barely sinks and, and by the way, it suspends or barely sinks depending upon the water temperature. Warmer the water, the more buoyant these baits tend to be, colder water and have a tendency to sink more. Um, with that in mind, the technique is essentially the same, okay? The big difference between the subsurface glider and the surface glider or subsurface zigzag and the surface zigzag is you have a better visual on the surface, obviously. So when you're working the bait, you can see what you have to do with your rod tip to manipulate the lure properly. Sometimes underwater, you can't see it as well. One of the reasons I like to use a high-vis glider, uh, here's an old beat up, one of the original um, glide raiders I designed. You can see it's got a lot of hook scars and teeth scars on it. I've caught lots of big fish on this specific individual lure here. So we're gonna talk about subsurface zigzag or glider fishing right now. I call it zigzag fishing because it's basically the same technique. So I'm going to sit down and do it here so I can kind of talk you through it. Then I'll stand up and do another demo. But essentially, again, same same tackle. I'm using a 72 a Mojo Muskie here, um, extra heavy fast, 80 pound beast grade, can of wire leader. I'm going to throw it right out here. You can see I've got leaves on the right here and, and, a, and a clear kind of on the left. i got subsurface leaves. But what I want to do when I make this cast, what I want to impress upon you is I can completely control the speed of my lure especially in the strike zone that's what makes this bait so deadly I don't have to hurry up and get it out of there in other words you want hang time so here we go throw the bait out there and again I'm gonna pull it up so I can see it and I'm subsurface zigzag I, look at the look at the hang time again pausing the bait pausing, letting that bait just sit in the cover, and then I'll speed it up when I get it out of cover, and then finish with a figure eight, okay? So I'm gonna stand up and do the same thing. So essentially, I'll throw a little bit more in that shade, <clears throat> but what, I, what I'm trying to impress upon you here is a couple things. Try to get a visual on your bait so you can, you can get a good zigzag motion, slack line, like I've said, in my top water segment, slack line is critical to get good, accentuated, side to side, zigzag. Don't keep your line overly tight. And when you get in cover, leave it hanging. Because a lot of times when you leave it hanging like that, right by the cover, that's when a big fish will hit it. When you're in cool like this, you can speed it up. And then finish with a big fish. Subsurface zigzag glider fishing.